It's the Solo One Sci-Fi Podcast. All right. Hello and welcome to episode 144. I just bought myself a book today. I'd like to present to you my course, Boat Salesman in Hawaii, live. Uh, you can see the palm tree in the background from the world plateau where Magnum lives, Hawaii 5 and everywhere else but Portsmouth. But <laughs> I present to you Go Club, who has an awesome channel, who's a good friend of mine. Yeah. And I'm by the gods of science fiction. And I look like a married, a marital advice counsellor TV show presenter this week. What you do? And what do I look like again? Yeah. I look like I a, a... A boat salesman in a Hawaii who lives okay. next to a harbour and has a palm tree at the bottom of the gap. Okay, all right. Well, there are schools here called Harbour Schools, so I don't know whether that's any relevance to that. Um, thank you, Martin. How are you? Nice to talk to you. Um, yeah, it's been, uh, been another week since we've been in touch. So, um, what's the latest over there in, in sunny London? Anything happening up there? Interested to share? Is anything happening in sunny London? Uh, yeah, going to a game while I was ill for a week. That's going. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, uh, yeah, that's going. Uh, so I'm back now. Hopefully, I'm still a bit funny with it. But I'm going to a game thing on Sunday. I'm going out on Friday. You're going to a gay that's thing? That's on pods last week, oh, really. No, 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 I'm going to a. I want that deleting. I want that deleting. <laughs> I, see, I, I, I want. Honestly, I demand that get deleted. Uh, I heard gay or game. Did you no, say game? I'm going out. I'm going. I'm going. I didn't say that. I'm going for a day out on Friday. <laughs> I never said that. Actually, I look like. Uh, Am with I still my on background, the I look like. What do you look? Like? You look like from. I, I look from like week. a shopping channel presenter. Oh, I look like a shopping channel. Hey, presenter. you could be, you could be the no, next yeah. co-presenter of this morning. You know, now Philip Schofield's gone, you can go with that blonde woman, and you could be the new co-host of that awful daytime thing that's been on for about three hundred years. And what, nobody watches. What, Holly, what, what Holly, the name? That the one with the well, that comedian there. The one with the yeah, Holly face. Willow Booby or something. Yeah, yeah Booby. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what she's yeah. doing. <laughs> you could be that. I mean. It's, do you know what I go to? There's a um, cafe um, down the Canoe Lake where we live, and, it's, and um, I go there sometimes. Yeah. And every morning they have this morning on, and they, all I hear is. So I talk to a friend in Spain on the phone. Is every few sec seconds I hear do 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 do, and it's just this, this terrible, da, terrible da, 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 No, 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 no. It's uh, different now. I think it's different now. Is it? Is that the same theme tune? Is it still got the same theme? Is tune? it? Is I it? don't know. I don't know. Last time I saw it. I think last time I saw Richard, Richard and Richard Judy, was there? Yeah, yeah. Time. I don't know when. I don't know. I don't yeah, know who anybody yeah, watches that. Last that. time I saw it. And it's. I mean, I, I saw it come well, on. I, and I, it, mean, like, I, I know there's been a. There's been a lot of bad press about Philip Schofield. I'm not all this. I've caught oh, bits yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I'm, 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 I will tell you. You know? Do you know what he did? I'm going. And we won't get to <laughs> his joke now. Right, right. right. <laughs> Right. No, yeah, we won't. Go on. Oh, no, no, right. no, no, go, right. go on. Just get your lawyers on stand. Yeah, all right. right. Go on. Okay. Right. Hey, uh, you remember Gordon the Gopher? Yes, the puppet thing. Yeah, yeah. You remember it? Well, he yeah. bought it when he left the BBC and he went to theatre. He bought Gordon the Gopher apparently. He bought the rights because he didn't want it because it embarrassed him. Right. Oh, really? Yeah, it embarrassed yeah, yeah. him. Why did it embarrass him? Because he was well, associated with the Well, he thought it damaged his career because he'd always be associated with the God of the Gulf thing, you know. I don't know. So, I mean, I mean it, that's what made him famous, though. I, mean, I, I don't actually the mind. Cupboard. I don't mind Philip Schofield. I've got nothing against yeah, him. No, I don't. Um, I just, I, mean, yeah, I just hate these these awful daytime TV shows. I just can't stand them. And like, um, you know, he's. <laughs> Ban I, I'd ban them. I've had my word, ban them. Yeah, I would. I, I really i have got no time with them at all. I just, I'm um, sick of it all day when I were dying last week. Oh, you all you have is when, when I were dying Scofield. last week, it were hugs in the country. <laughs> <laughs> it's terrible. It's terrible. Live TV. It's absolutely uh, awful. It's nothing on at all. Bloody cooking programmes. Yeah, exactly. Like how to make a how no, make, no, like a biscuit or something. It's like, you know, how to make a... Uh, Nothing. How to how to make cheese on toast? You know, it's like, why would you sit there? You know, I mean, what kind of life? Would yeah, you they're all nice. They're all right, nice. 
They're all really nice and false. Oh, it's terrible. You know them presenters, they're all like, oh yes, it's wonderful and we're all, you know, and you look marvellous today and we're going to cook cheese on toast and it's going to be wonderful. <laughs> it? And it's like middle crap. It's like, like everybody in the country lives like them, this world, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's terrible. It really I'd is. I'd ban it, man. I'd get rid of it. Fuck it. Yeah, it pulls in the viewers, though, doesn't it? It pulls in the viewers. Yeah, but who's uh, watching it? I mean, is it? Is, I mean, does anybody well, under I the age of 85 watch know, it? Do I? I know. But why is it still on? Who sits there every morning watching this, this drivel? Year in, year out, the same thing. Do, 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 do. It's like. We're talking about science fiction <laughs> and not good fucking morning. <laughs> oh, Martin, I love co hosting with you. You always make me laugh. <laughs> okay. Really cool. Right. Um, okay. Have we got any sci fi news? I tell you what, I have got. Yeah, I, 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 I was going to send it to you, but you saw it before, man. I, 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 well, no, I was going to share it and try and share it and watch it here with you as a reaction. Well, but well, I can't. Watch well, it. I, I can hardly see the screen is so bright. I'll try well, and. Put a newspaper across the top. Yeah. And no, then hang, you on, can... hang on, hang on. It's a share thing, right? It's a share thing. And I've got it saved ready. Um, and I'll see if I can put it on. Uh, hang on, hang on, What's, which one was it? No, it wasn't that one. Oh, God, I can't do it now, I can't see shit like... Uh, hang on. Uh, give me a second, give me a second. I've got to go into here. I've got to close that off there. Close this off here. Then we go back into Zoom. And then we can share it here. There we are. Hit share. Hang on. Share. And then hit share. Because I want to see this myself. Here we go. So I'm going to press play now and see what this is like. You're going to start the engine sometime soon, Erica? <laughs> Don't worry. I did this a hundred times during the war. Yeah. Where's the volume? I can hear it. I don't know if you. Maybe you can't hear it. It's like I, I can't hear anything. Right. I'll just watch it and then we'll talk about it after. I have a feeling that something's in the air. Oh, I'll just. Well, I'll oh say it anyway. So. Our job puts us up against. Death. That looks interesting. Yeah. Right with them. Yeah. Spaceship on that Earth-type planet. Yeah. Yeah. We are Still in two minds about Captain Kirk, isn't it? You know? Okay. It's easy to forget how awesome that is. I do, I do like Anthem, I think it's superb. But it, it fucking bloody good. It yeah. is. Look, it's... I have this crazy theory. Yeah. Cling on, this is fun. Yeah, I know. Uh-oh, okay. Oh, uh, 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 oh, 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 being here at this time. Now what's going on here then? I don't know. Bock, he's a right nice sneak up. Bock, isn't he? Dirty. You know. Whoa, there goes the other Surprise. Oh yeah, it's those cartoon characters. Oh, that's good. Uh, 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 that's uh, the cartoon series, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. What's that? I can't even see who that is. Mr. Boimler. Bob. You also live in. Uh, yeah, in yeah, from yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Boimer, what his name is. Yeah, yeah. Looks, looks alright. Um, hey, it looks good. Yeah, no, it does look quite hey, impressive. He's playing actually. again now. Don't play again, mate. Don't play again. I can't see what I'm doing on the screen like. Hang on, turn this off. Right, that's it. Okay, let's go back to you. Sharing has stopped. Okay, right. Alright, I think we're back. Um, yeah, it's hard to see, but it looks, it looks pretty epic, doesn't it? Hey, no, it does. It looks uh, pretty amazing. Uh, so, yeah, I think. Mm, sounds good. You know, um, uh, I mean, I, I, you know, I'm pretty confident that it's going to be another good season. Did you hear? Um, I can't remember the name of the actor, but there's an actor who's going to be in the you know the new Ahsoka series who just died the other day. Um, apparently, he's been in some of the Marvel films, in th some of the Thor films. I can't remember his name. You must have heard about that. Did you hear about that? Still yeah. 
Yeah, well, what's his no. name? You, oh, let me tell you who it is. Yeah, I'm still here, Angie. I'm still here. I am still here. You're still, I know, it's just the intense bit. Are you here? Yeah. That's good, that's good, that's good. Just checking. Just checking because I don't need to leave me. Don't leave me, Martin. Because I wouldn't be the same if you weren't around. You know, yeah, it's well, like... I, I, that, is, that is a stunning background, is that? No, it is. <laughs> It, it, it's an amazing green screen. Is my head cut off though? Am I on? Oh no, that's better. No, yeah, no, it, I know no, it's, it's really good. You're, it's you're really back good. again. You're back. It's a really good green screen, <laughs> isn't it? No, it's it's it's. No, it's um, right, honestly, it's stunning background. Is that? Yeah. It's, wouldn't it be all right if I parked my private yacht off, y'all, at the no, weekend? But, well, as long as it does, it look nice. Will it suit the surrounding area? Well, it's a barge actually. You know, it's a, oh, so, a barge. Okay. Yeah, well, but it, you, you can right. only get it in here in a high tide because otherwise it'll get stuck. Uh, oh, right, okay. You know what I mean? Otherwise, you're going to get your bar you're going to get stuck, you see, and then you don't want to do that, do you? So it's kind of like. Um, well, I could bring a dinghy. A dinghy might be a better option. A dinghy might be a better option. Um, so it was Ray Stevenson who's died, um, and no. um, I know that is. I know that is. Yes, and he. I'm surprised you I haven't don't heard know, about but that. I'm trying to place this first now. Um, well, I'll, I'll put it on there. You probably can't see him, but he's quite a well-known actor. He's been in uh, quite a few things. I think he's been in some Marvel films. You know if you saw him, and he was um, a big character in the new show. So obviously that he's filmed all his bits. So he'll be in season one of Ahsoka. Whether um, he was going to be in season two, if they make season two, I don't know. Um, but it's just a, it's obviously just a shock. It's just sad to hear that um, an actor like that um, has passed away. So. Um, Obviously, condolences to everybody who knows him, um, and it's just a shame. Obviously, um, it's always it's always horrible to hear that when the passing of people, but um, especially someone who's actually we were looking forward to seeing in this new Ahsoka series. So um, yeah, just uh, just sad to hear about it. Although I wasn't that familiar with his work, so there we go. Um, so before we go into focus, any news your end? Because I've got apart from that, apart from the death of this guy, I've got nothing my end. Have you got much to your end? Uh, Marvel Secret Wars is coming. Oh, okay. And what's the, what's that entail? Well, it's like the invaders, but these aliens that look who can change shape, like try and take over the world. Have you heard about a series called The Ark? It's yes. a series I'm going to check out. It's about these people on a ship who are going to another planet, and apparently all the people, all the leaders, or the captains, are all get killed off, and they're kind of like they're just trying to wing it. It looks quite good. Have you might see much about that? I've seen a review. Uh, yeah, I, I do know about it. Yes. Are you going to uh, check that out? Is yeah. that something that might interest you in seeing? Yeah, sort of. I'll check out the first couple of episodes, uh, but there's a. Uh, it looks the concept looks interesting. Yeah. I just thought it might be worth you know, it, sort of like um, in the yeah, future. I just, I, I, I get worried about investing time in things now. Yeah, I'm like that. I'm like that. It's kind of. I don't like, want to be disappointed. Yeah, so, and then you, you waste your time. I mean, I, I completely appreciate yeah. that. So I know. What you There's can... something called Silo that's meant to be very good. Oh, what's that? What's that about? Well, it's set in a post-apocalyptic future. Millions of people live in a silo. Right. And it's one of them things like. You can't go outside because you'll die, so, but they send people outside. And every floor in the silo is like a different world. Yeah. Oh, okay. That sounds but interesting. somebody who lives on one, on one of the floors realises something's not right. Right. About the reality they're in. Oh, okay. So it's about, yeah, a, rea it, it's about it, a perception thing of, time, of reality I, and where I, you well, are. Well, I, I don't know. They've all been in there. Something happened to Earth and all these people lived in this like giant mountain-sized bunker for centuries but they but you can't go outside it's called silo it's, apparently the reviews have been very good for it okay that's good uh, we just had a big but fog it could be one of them series where you get you end up watching it and think this is amazing then you get disappointed yeah it's um it, yeah. It, it reminds you of the mandalorian season three how i was i was pretty disappointed about that i've given it another rewatch, and it's it's all right but yeah. I did. I did. I I had higher hopes for season three of Mandalorian. I have to say. Um, so it's a shame mm. about that. Um, I mean, at the moment, I'm not really watching anything new at all. You know. I mean, Strange no, New no, Worlds. No, no, no. You know, and that's it's such a shame because. Uh, well, no, it's not a shame. I mean, we just had the Picard series, which I'm rewatching again, and it's just as good the second time round. By the way. Oh yeah. I suggest that you watch it a second time the whole way through. Because you don't have to wait another week, you know exactly what's going to happen. You see how it's all linked together. It's, it's just a wonderful show. 
It's so good, and I'm really, I've got good hopes about Strange New Worlds as well. So at least the Star Trek front's going well. Still no news on the Orville. Um, a shout out to Star Trek. I did a review yeah, of the Orville that with off. them. I'll yeah, I don't off. think it's going to happen either. I think it's looking less li less likely now. The writer strike stuff. I think the writer strike started, don't they? Yep, and it's um, it's yep. going to affect a lot of stuff at the moment. I think that. Um, uh, a lot of shows could get a bit stuck at the moment with all this. I don't know how long. Apparently, these these things tend to last a few months, um, but it could mean that long term we might have. You know how we had a bit of a void with stuff when it came to COVID, where for a while there was nothing made because nobody could film anything, and then eventually we got yes. through it. I don't think it'd be as bad as that, but I think there's going to be a delay of certain things. Luckily, they're they're making two new Star Wars series, which luckily was all the, the writing's just about been done. Um, the um, uh, not a circle. What's the other one? The, the acolyte. I think that's been filmed. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Um, and of course, um, well, Andor is still been going through, but Andor's the biggest disappointment I've ever seen in Star Wars. So I don't know what's going to happen in season two of that. I think season two is going to be a lot better for some reason. I've just got a feeling it's going to be better. Do you, do you do you think that uh, we could be coming like to a bit of a dry spell with science fiction now? <laughs> I, mean, I, th I think coming up is the, the, I mean, the, the, apart from what you've just said, that the, the, normally last year there were quite a lot, wasn't there? Come, I mean, there was some every couple of months to get your teeth into. Yeah, I mean, I, mean, I think I think for the moment this year we've got, like I said, we've got um, Ahsoka, we've got Strange New Worlds, we've got Skeleton Crew for Star Wars, and then in New Year, I know it's not a good one, we'll have Discovery. And then we'll have um, Andor season two, and we'll also have the Acolyte. So we've got actually quite a few things to come along, and Doctor Who as well. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I mean, there's not a lot of new, groundbreaking new sci-fi shows where I'm thinking this is the best thing I've seen in years. You know, so there could be a dry spell. Um, you know, it might be the fantasy becomes a bit more prominent because you sometimes get periods where sci-fi is a bigger thing and then it goes to fantasy for a while or it can it completely go away from science fiction and or, or imagination completely and just goes to just straightforward dramas or something so i don't know i think we're in, in for a sort of like a change how do what do you mm. think do you do you agree with that yeah i think i think we're in i think i think we're coming for a big change with sci-fi fantasy yeah i think so well i, I, do, I think i think the superhero i think we're at the peak of it now it's it's We've had the peak and uh, the whole superhero thing, it seems to be, how, how do you say, it seems to be, it's not like it was. Yeah, I, th you know, I think so. There's two series that do hit the mark perfectly, but it's not like it was. I think, I think, what, we'll, I think what we'll be doing is we'll be looking for series which are less prominent and actually getting into those. That's what I think. I'm going to be looking for, st there's some stuff which I'm interested in seeing. Um, where right, instead of the main stuff, because I think there will be a bit of a, a drop out, so hopefully not. Yeah. Um, so on that note, let's go into our focus of the week, if that's okay with you, because we've got a uh, good the classic. The six minutes, show. eleven seconds. Yeah. So they're going to fade out, and we'll come back, and we'll do the review. All yeah. right. All right okay. We'll be, we'll be right back. It's the Solar Sci-Fi focus of the week. Right, so That's, we're back. Yep, yep. All right, so we're back. So yes. basically, um, we're talking over each other, but we're back. We're definitely back. We are talking about this week, Land of the Giants, from yeah. um, 1968. 19, yes, for two seasons. It did. Do you want, actually? Do you want to tell, tell me your end? What, tell me what information you got your end. No, no, you. No, no, it's no. All right. <laughs> no, no, I'm joking. No. I'm joking. Um, yeah. So you're right. It ran for two seasons. It was. Um, from 1968 to 1970, the show was created by Erwin Allen, who, of course, we know him from some other shows. Uh, it was Ad Allen's fourth science fiction TV sh uh, series. The show was released by 20th Century Fox Television. The series was filmed entirely in colour and ran 51 episodes. The show starred Gary Conway and special, uh, special star Kurt Kasnar. Um, so I think this is one that you know more than me. So tell me what you think about Land of the Giants. What land of the giants? Yeah. It, 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 I, th it, it, I think it, 
it started off really quite good and then it got I don't know it went all uh, when Alan in later seasons didn't it in, uh, so it got where well, they met aliens and uh, isn't it the same didn't he magic do magic people and all that it got a bit uh, there were some episodes that were just a bit out there but I did like the cast I like the concept of it and it, as a kid it sort of freaked me out because I actually don't remember much about the second season I remember the first season was very strong I like the yeah, idea was. that they were like um, they were like on a plane or something. Obviously, it was a spaceship. But it was like a plane, and um, <laughs> they went through some sort of weird storm, and they landed. And they thought they landed uh, somewhere on Earth, and they'd actually they, were they on they weren't on Earth. Were they, were they on Earth? Or no, they were in a. It was an interdimensional portal. So it was, it was a parallel kind of yeah. So it, that's what I was thinking. It wasn't actual Earth. It wasn't. They were um, on a, a world which is very similar to ours. But yeah, no, 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 we, uh, the other thing, we were 50 years ahead of them in technology and time. That's right, that's right, I forgot about That's why they wanted to catch them, because we are... Because of their technology, travel. that's it, sorry, yeah. Martin, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, all I remember about, I, I don't even remember actually if they got home or anything, but I, I just remember... No, that they never did. The episode I remember the most was one where they ended up in almost like, I think it was like this kid had these toys, and it's like a little toy town, and um, they were. She, I think it was a was it a little girl or a little boy? I can't remember what it was. Yeah, I think it was a little boy, little girl. That's it's a little girl, and she was tormenting them, and um, yep. they were the size of toys. And obviously, she realised that they were alive, and she was just like evil. And I think either yep. her granddad or her dad was the one who was kind of sort of aware of something going on, and but he was telling her off. Um, and it was really cool. So it was kind of like um, it was an interesting sort of idea. I mean, tell me much. Yeah. Tell me more about it. Tell me the, what you... the world, yeah, the world of the giants. It was a totalitarian state, and they were being chased after by that uh, secret police guy who worked for the SID Special Investigations Special Department. Yeah, because right. yeah. little people, the big contacts before. That's right. I remember there, there were some other ships yep. that had actually gone by in the in the. So they were aware of this 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 element from these miniature people with technology yep. from the past. I remember that. That's right. As you're saying this, it's sort of coming back to me more now. Um, but um, again, I don't know much about season two. But I, I just remember the season one was had some great characters. It had this sort of like um, let's have a look at the characters. It had the the larger guy who was kind of a bit cowardly. He was always like saying, "Oh, don't do this, don't do that." And then you had the sort of the captain guy. It was a bit like a sort of Captain Kirk kind of thing. And then you had the the the, the female. Was she like um, a stewardess or something? I think. She yeah. Was there were, and then there was Valerie uh, Dana Lund, the one with the red hair. That's right. I used to, I used to fancy her. Yeah. yeah. Well, we, didn't we all? Didn't we all? And then we also yeah. had there was a kid as well. There was a kid as well, a, a boy as well. Um, apparently, the theme music composer was John Williams. I didn't realise that. He actually yes, did the theme. Yes, I didn't yes, realise that. That's a big feather in the cap for them. Um, I mean, as you say, it ran for um, each episode was about sixty minutes. Is it sixty minutes? Well, that's quite yeah, a long time. Yeah. That's pretty good. Um, um, and yeah, it was it was certainly so interesting. Um, let's have a look at the actual uh, set notes. So set notes. It, it, it was it was set in the year nineteen eighty three. Nineteen eighty three it was mm. at that time. Fifteen years in the future, the series tells the tale, the tale of the crew, the passengers of the suborbital transport ship the spindrift in the pilot episode the spindrift yep. is en route from los angeles to london i remember that uh, on an ultra fast uh, suborbital flight just be yep. uh, beyond earth's boundary into space a spindrift encounters a magnetic space uh, space storm and is dragged through a space warp to a mysterious planet where everything is 12 times larger than earth whose inha inhabitants the earthlings nickname the giants the spindrift crash lands and the damage renders it inoperable. Very little no is known about the home planet of the Giants. This is partially because the Spindrift crew very seldom leaves the area where their spaceship crashed in the opening episode. Um, only two other identified giant societies are ever seen. The episodes The Land of the Lost and The Secret of Limbo. Uh, no, na no name is ever established for the mysterious planet, but the inhabitants known of Earth, Venus and Mars referring to them uh, in only one episode, exactly where the planet is located is also never made clear. In the episode, on a clear night, you can see Earth. Captain Steve Bunton, uh, Gary Conway, claims to have seen Earth 
through a set of infrared goggles invented by the giants implying that the two planets are near enough to see one another the only established method by which earth people may reach the giant's planet is high altitude flight passing through one giant set one calls a dimension lock um, although various uh, episodes established that at least six other flights had been landed on the planet no episode confirms anyone ever returning to earth the first mention of other visitors from earth was an episode to, to ghost town in which i remember this another ship was said to have crashed long ago with without any survivors in episode four underground another earth ship is described as crashing three years previously again with no survivors several episodes and uh, show crews surviving their initial crashes only to be killed later the episode brainwash has a crew of little people surviving long enough to build a radio station that can communicate yep. with earth they are killed shortly after that the episode golden cage and the lost ones shows a few survivors from other crashes only the spin drift only the spin drift crew seems to survive for long enough with its part intact um, one continental hemisphere <coughs> is dominated by an authoritarian government that tolerates full freedoms with a capitalist system, but it does not tolerate any effort to affect political change. I, I remember all this stuff's coming along, so I'm coming back to me as I'm reading it. Exactly. There's also another secret society that lives underground as well. Okay, and it says here exactly what the political situation is on other continents is not known, although at least one overseas land has a despotic ruler. Uh, yep. The air traffic control tells those who venture out to see that they should turn back. Um, but nothing beyond the sea has ever been explored, nor is there any current contact, whether this is in the official government line, and the truth is not known. Uh, so it's a lot about it, but it's interesting to read it out. Cultural of the Giant Society closely resembles the contemporary United States of 1968. In various episodes, it has police force, private hospitals, prisons, a state governor, radio and television uh, services, a zoo, jazz clubs, and even a racetrack. The Giants speak English, drive American cars, attend um, theatres and play chess. The Earth people find themselves able to cope and their efforts to get around the uh, facilitated by the unique uh, blickly of large drains, you know, drains leading directly to interior rooms and pavements. In an outside wall of most buildings, the, the Giant government are offered a reward to catch the small Earth people whom the Giants call the Little People. It goes on and on, but I won't read more, but there's quite a lot about it there. Um, so I mean, I mean, I, I remember this show was on. I think it was on Channel Four, probably was Sunday morning, about late morning, midday. I think it was the same slot that we had. Yeah, um, on a Sunday. Land of the Giants, not Land of the yeah. Giants. The, um, the uh, Time Tunnel. Um, um, what else? Is there? There's some other ones as well. But there was a, there were a number of those sort of shows which were on at that sort of time of the day, wasn't it? Lost, lost in Space. Yeah, yeah. Lost in Space is the future. Okay. Oh, you, you mean the future of this show? TikTok exists. And yeah, yeah, no, Lost in Space were in the year 1999. Oh, okay. Or 1990. And uh, Sevier was 72 and setting in the 80s. And. Uh, Project TikTok, America's biggest top secret project, uh, the Time Tunnel, was in the 60s and obviously progressed into the future. Right. Okay. Also, I have the theory that the technology from Project TikTok were used in the Jupiter 2 program to build the first Jupiter class ships oh, okay. to go outwards. Yeah. Wow. And they were more advanced than the giants. There is also another civilization. Now there's plot holes all over this, and we tell, tell me about them because you you know more about this than I. So tell me about you. Right, think, what, well, what well, like, it's like if they've got a if they've got a 1960 society and 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 nobody goes beyond the sea. Surely they've got fucking airplanes that fly around the planet. Yeah, know? that's a bit weird. I mean, yeah, surely yeah, they have like an you know explorer, I mean? wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah exactly. So that's that out. There's one episode where the little people end up going underground as a secret society i remember they got teleported down there yep and they were more advanced than the giants upstairs but one of the giants down there wanted to start a war with them okay. and they stopped it and because they met this friendly giant that lived underground so there were them 
then there was uh, him that played Doctor Smith turned up as this entity who were doing stuff to. And then some travel from the future for us up there, but they, they got away. And right. then And then there was an episode where where the uh, the giant shrunk one of their own Okay, um internet's playing up an the episode moment. where a giant science is gave the little people to turn them into uh, Kirk Gasner, I think he's now like he's like the idiot factor in, in the group that sell him out. Right. He 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 got into trouble and he shrunk himself again to get away. I mean, the, I mean, it, it was interesting, and uh, they were trying to do. I mean, this is what I love about. This is why I've got this thing about sixties TV shows because at least they then they tried all kinds of stuff. Yeah, you know, it is. And none of the plots. And they did, they did on this crazy plot, because could Land of Giants gone beyond two seasons? Could it have gone to a third season? Could it? Erwin oh. Allen's, I mean, voice at bottom at sea lasted, what, four seasons? Four seasons, that was four seasons, yeah. Lost in space, four seasons, uh, yeah, and yeah. time tunnel. Just one, just one and time that, tunnel. That, yeah. that got, to, I was surprised. That should have got Land a second season. Land of the season. Giants at the should've time was the most. Yeah, yeah. No, it should have done. Time to, there was uh, already a premise to Time Tunnel. They were going to come back and then every week they were going to have adventures. That's where... And I think you could have ran that for five seasons like that. But it, it's... Uh, Land of the Giants, I thought, were very clever to get to a second season. And while I was surprised... Like, I agree with you. The first season very strong. Mm, absolutely. But the more science fiction elements came in the whack, you know, Erwin Allen always got into whacked out stuff. It's he? it's weird because you know, Erwin Allen often his first seasons of shows are very solid, and then they go in this yeah, weird tangent. I mean, yeah, they seem to do that. That seems to be a, like a consistency of of these shows. Yeah. yeah, Lost in Space first season. Doctor Smith is purely evil. It's all about him. He'll sell them out just. To I know he out. changes. In second season, he's running around screaming. Yeah, I remember and that. You're like, yeah. And you're like, even though. It, well, it, him and the robot and the kid, they have this great chemistry between three of them. And it did work because it was their show, forget the others. It, but in the first season, he, 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 he would have had them killed. He went on board to kill that family. He, and, 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 the, and suddenly he turned into this like, insane character. The voice of the bottom, say, were a bit more serious, but we got ridiculous stories like the lobster men and 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 like the uh the lobster men <laughs> the leprechaun turned up on the sub i mean it, it was just getting fucking stupid yeah that's right. what i'm saying it just lost the plot basically. and, and you, yeah. you switch it off it comes to a point i just can't put up with this anymore yeah. i love for me that's the best there with alan time tunnel was the one that had a lot of substance and it was solid and that was the one that should have gone the full time. So it should have had at least a second season. Obviously, it didn't. But I mean, that but, was the one that was really coming along that season. But then well, maybe, Landa, maybe the second yeah, season of Time Tunnel might have been the same. It might have lost the plot in season two if they'd have gone to season. Well, two. he did. This is what I don't understand because, like Land at Giants, I watched it like you on a Sunday, you know, and that's yeah. when I first saw. It were on when I were a kid, but I was going to bed over about three or four. You know, and so I, uh, but I caught it in the nineties, like the full thing of it, mm -hmm. and I, I, I found it interesting. I mean, I watched it every week. I watched all of them, and and I did buy it on DVD when it came out years ago, and I did enjoy watching it. I like. I think the casting's great. Yeah, you I know. do. It's good cast. It's a very good cast. But it, it, it would have to first see it, suddenly second season. The thing is. You got these really stupid fucking thoughts. <gasps> and, and really crazy, like villains and cats. I mean, it were like insane, you know. Yeah. And, and 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 that were it. They're, they're in this world, the giants, and they've got to survive. Not just them; they've got to face nature as well. Yeah, of course, yeah. Because you know the the predators are gonna, you know, at that size. They're, they're dangerous. Deadly, they're dangerous. Yeah, know, of course. Yeah, yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, of course. 
Yeah. And, and, and it went into I was fascinated by the giant society. This, the, the, their government were called the Supreme Council. And right. that sort of, just that alone makes that interesting, hmm. you know. It's different, There was yeah. one episode, I saw, I think it's, it's either first or second where they get caught. Right. And two of them are tied up, they're tied up to a ruler. Oh, I vaguely remember that, yes. Yeah, they'll, they'll take, yeah, that's right, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that might have been episode, you you yeah, know that was the girl, wasn't it? it would I think it was the, uh, yeah, I yeah. I think this was before that, and there's two giant scientists. One's got a beard, and he never speaks, him and this woman, they never speak. They're prodding him and doing stuff to him. And it's quite frightening because they're not showing any feeling to them. They're, they're like, like they've got a big syringe and they're trying to. And I found that really freaked me out. I thought this is interesting. Yeah. And he should have gone down more. We got it. It would the giants. And I do pop in. I'd, I'd go back more. I'd go back more to time tunnel and voyage. For me, out of the Irwin Allen universe. That was going to be my next question, actually. I was going to ask you how you rated it in respect to the other Irwin Allen, Allen series. So is it more of the back behind um, the others? You're frozen. It's all right. Can you hear me? Give me a second. Let me know I, you know, know. I can hear you now. Yeah, you froze. Sorry. So how would you rate it compared to the other Irwin Allen series, then? I'm gonna. I'd, I'd put it number three. Okay. So, what? Give I'm, it. I'm gonna put time tunnel first. Right. It's the bottom of the sea, land at giants, and then the pit. I won't okay. for it. Okay. All right. Um, yeah. I mean, so I suppose really. I mean, I, yeah. I think we'll, we're we're gonna wrap things up because the internet's not very good here. So. Um, I suppose let's just finish off then yeah. and ask you what you, what, how would you rate it out of 10? Oh, sorry, the internet's playing up. Waiting for Marty to come back. Okay, give me a second because you're breaking I'm up badly. Gonna, I'm going to give it a 6. You're going to give it a 6, alright. Um, I think I'll give it. Um, yeah, yeah. What are you going to give it? Uh. I think it's the same, 6. six no, 6.5. 6.5. It's a similar yeah. thing. I like yeah, it. Yeah, I'm. It's been about 10 years since I watched that. Yeah. Yeah, I do like it. I'll give it 6.5. Um, I think it's a good series. It could have been better, but it's still memorable and it was definitely worth a review. So I'm glad you enjoyed it. Um, if you're still there, because we're going to finish up, because the internet's really playing up. Um, any last words about the Land of the Giants? Yeah, I am still here, yes. So what's your, what's your last no, words? No, no, nothing no. really. Nothing pretty much, much. That's pretty it, much it. it. it, it, it. <laughs> yeah, you're really breaking up now. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, look, Hello? Well, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna finish off. Cause yeah. It's dropping now. So, um, Marcia, thank you for that. We're gonna be back. Are you, do you want to do um, this island Earth next week? Yes, 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 yes. All right, matey. Well, okay, so we're gonna yeah. finish off because the internet's dropping and we've got bad internet here. So, Martin, thank you very much. Yep. We'll see you next week on the Solo One Sci-Fi podcast. Thank you. Yes, to life immortal. To life immortal, exactly. Thank you, Martin.